In the NCAA tournament, every double-digit seed needs a source of inspiration. Last year for Loyola, that was famously Sister Jean. For KU's first round opponent, Northeastern, they believe they have that in their own Max Plansky. Devon Dotson is fast, like cheetah fast. But he'll have his hands full with someone just as quick in Jared Harper. Redskins quarterback Kirk Cousins is riding high, but he isn't talking about his performance against the Raiders last week or even his Offensive Player of the Week honor. He's talking about becoming a dad. He and his wife welcomed Cooper Cousins into the world on Friday night, but he was right back at practice on Saturday and will start, of course, tomorrow against the Chiefs. Your hobby besides football, what do you do when you're not here working? I'm, I'm a great ping pong player, so I, I mean, if I didn't play football, I'd probably be a ping pong player somewhere. All 337 players here at the Combine have to do the bench press, kickers included. It's 225 pounds. The record is 51, so I want to see if I can do just one. Neil, take the mic. Oh, Danny! Come on. Come on, Danny. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. So no problem, right? We've yeah, had yeah, crashes in the past. Yeah. Hoping and praying I'm not number six. It was a tough emotional scene here in the locker room. There's no doubt this team cares a lot about a disappointing season, but more importantly, about disappointing each other. The Kansas City Chiefs are undefeated, and they're going to host the Colts on Sunday under those Sunday night lights. But could they do so with Mo cornerbacks, as in, like, Mo Claiborne out there on the field. It is, and it also makes you just a little bit slower, which also makes it a lot easier for defenders to be able to track you down and potentially roll up on you in a way that would injure you further. So I, I like that he's getting a chance to play, and if he says that he can do it, then he should be able to go out there and play and try to manage this offense. He's going to be the best quarterback out there, whether he's healthy or not. I mean, a half-healthy Patrick Mahomes is better than probably what you're going to get or se with a second- or third-string quarterback. Here in the Cauldron is where Sporting Kansas City boasts one of the best home field advantages in Major League Soccer. And the fans who will be sitting in these seats are hoping to witness their team hoist this, the 2017 Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. We are joined by Sporting Kansas City forward Kyrie Shelton. Most of you guys don't know much about him, but we'll get to knowing him a little bit better as they get ready for the season opener on Sunday. First of all, how was your preseason? How was Arizona? Patrick, we're out here last day of training camp, and it has been a monsoon. What was it like to practice for the last day in this pouring rain? Honestly, it was, it was really fun uh, just to get, get out here with the guys. And, I mean, it's the last day, but you still get a lot of good work in. And to have a rain day, it was our first one. So you get to practice in the rain, which is, could be very vital when the season comes around. I must say that I'm very jealous because, as you guys can see, his hair stays intact. My hair is completely flat now that it's rained. How do you keep up the good hair? Uh, I think the hair gets better when it's, it's wet, actually. So, I mean, whenever it rains, I mean, it's a good thing for me, I guess, in a sense. And I only have to take on Jacksonville. They have to take on Mother Nature. Yeah, it's raining right now. It's in a downpour. The gates don't open until 10 o'clock, so we are really the only ones out here. We're going to see a lot of Kareem Hunt today, I feel. He had a really good game against the Broncos on Monday Night Football, but look for him to take advantage of stretch runs of some of the uh, zone attacks. He's going to be able to find opportunities today because that Jaguars defensive line just rushes the quarterback they are so quick off of the snap but they're also going to have to be patient Patrick Mahomes loves to throw the ball but when it's raining like this and with a Jaguars defense that's number one in the league right now he's got to be able to find whatever he can to move the chains but really guys I think that the most fun matchup to watch today is going to be between cornerback Jalen Ramsey and receiver Tyreek Hill it's been a smack talk fest all week Danny let's start right there everybody wants to know how long can Mahomes actually keep up this pace well, Dana, I don't see this guy slowing down at all in the future. He's living up to the hype. That's the thing. Coming into this year, everybody talked about this offense and what Patrick Mahomes was going to be able to do. He's living up to the expectations, no doubt. The thing that impresses me the most is his vision. Not only is he able to read defenses, but he breaks down zone blitzes with ease, better than most quarterbacks in the NFL right now. Equipment director Alan Wright and Jay White took me through the process. Okay, so the first thing that we do is when we bring an athlete in, it depends if he's a rookie or a veteran. Now, I have my own football gear, but when it comes to the Chiefs, I'm taking the rookie route. First thing we would do is, is take a, a caliper and we would measure your head. So we got a, it's like a 7.7. .7. So we would, we would grab the Pull helmet the that fit into that, and, and we'd have you put it on. 
one, we would do the measurement test above the eyebrows. We would go to the ear alignment. We would set the chin strap. We have a inventory of some different options and we walk them through here and they pick out their choices of knee pads, thigh pads. Usually your skill guys wear your smaller knee pads, thigh pads. After that, we will do their pant size. It's actually feel really good. Like I could definitely go work out in this. And then we'll go from that to shoulder pads. And then we'll do a couple measurements. We'll measure AC to AC. The shoulder pads are on, and now it's time for my favorite part. We would get a measurement of your foot. Based off that measurement, this is the size shoe that would be best for you. It's perfect. We can have a little fun, can't we? That's a size 20, the largest size the Chiefs carry. But these are more like it, the finishing touch after getting ready to take the field. When it comes time for game day, though, these guys are the ones who have to help the players get everything on and off. And now that I'm completely fitted and suited up to perfection, with my old number on my chest, number 89, it's time for my NFL debut. Well, Alan also told me that they are in charge of also taking care of the infractions during games. They've got 12 minutes after pregame to get back in that locker room and address each of the guys individually about what might be wrong regarding their equipment. And Neil, what's crazy is that the smallest fine is $5,000 simply for a towel being in the wrong spot. So these guys have a lot on their plate. The last game of the season for the Royals marks the end of an era. What we witnessed today was something you very rarely see in Major League Baseball. Not only did each of these guys get standing ovations individually in their first at-bats, but Ned Yost also took them off the field so that they could take that final curtain call together to the roars of grateful fans. It was an emotional day for the players and fans alike because, as Tom Martin shows us, this core group that resurrected Blue October won't be the same. Your guilty pleasure on your playlist before a game. <laughs> so, something goofy? Like, uh... Probably uh, the Baby Shark song. I'll be listening no. to that. I promise. That is like one of the best yeah, songs. That, uh, uh, that's a hard. That's like it should not just bother me in here, you know? I cut it off like after 20 seconds and, and go to back to my regular stuff.